Hello there YouTube, this is DO Electronics and uh, today I'm going to be remaking the video about schematic symbols. I'm um, going to actually do it on the computer this time instead of um, uh, on a whiteboard underneath the fluorescent light. Um, I seem to have a lot of negative comments about that video so I'm just going to remake it. Um, one thing I want to start off with is uh, one of the things that started off in the other video is um, uh, line connections or um, your different ways to connect wires in a schematic symbol or in a schematic circuit um, so you can know what's connected, what's not connected, what's going on, how it's working, etc. Um, this symbol right here, if you see it in a schematic, run away. <laughs> just kidding. Um, it, it's just, it's hard to decipher what this really means. Um, some people say it means two lines connected. Sometimes it means uh, two lines not connected if there isn't a node there. Um, it, it's just a confusing uh, symbol. Um, so I would prefer either a little node there, a little round circle in the middle to show that they're indefinite. You know, they are connected, or you know, maybe jump over the line to show that they're not connected with a little bridge. Um, these are two good ways to represent connected and not connected. This is a bad way to represent connected or not connected. Um, it can just be confusing to some people. Um, next thing we'll look at is power supplies. Um, right here is a simple battery with a negative and positive. Um, you're going to see this somewhere in the circuit if it's you know if it's operating off DC. Otherwise, you'll see another little um, symbol. It'll have a circle with two lines coming off the side with a little S, sideways S in it, which ends, or which is understood to be AC power. Um, some other things you might see, you may see the battery up in the top left corner by itself, and then throughout the circuit you'll see this little ground symbol and this little uh, VCC, which is uh, the powers from the power supply. Um, and that's simply just to save the hassle of, um, you know, running wires all the way across the schematic when you could just throw these two symbols on, uh, let's just say like this right here, if you wanted this to be ground, you'd just throw this symbol right here, and just take that symbol and scroll over and you wanted that to be hooked to ground and there you go. Now you have it hooked to ground and you can see that with a little green line and that represents that the ground on this little voltage regulator here is connected to this ground without actually drawing a line from here all the way over um, that, that's the purpose of that is just to save space um, when you get in complex circuits you get a lot of uh, symbols and everything else and you worry about the running wires when you're trying to design the PCB um, where did I just throw my ground symbol at? Ooh. I swear it just had it over here oh there it is well you know what I'll just leave it there no there alright so we got the ground and the power um, the little arrow up um, the arrow down is a symbol for a, a negative power supply, but just you don't really need to worry about that. Um, right here, we got a PNP um, uh, transistor with the arrow pointing down toward ground, which uh, means the load is in between here and ground, whereas um, this one is an NPN transistor and the arrow is pointing toward the base from the the collector has the arrow on it where this one has the emitter with the arrow on it um, what this is uh, symbolizing here is that the load is up here and it's running down through here to ground when the base is high now on this one you got hot here load here and when this is um, active the voltage is going through here to the load. Um, one other thing is 
there's a lot more transistors than just these two. Um, a lot of different types. There's MOSFETs, all kinds of other ones. I just wanted to cover two basic ones that you'll see in most of your circuits. Um, also with schematic symbols and electronics, when you're looking at the schematic, you'll have a part number and then sometimes like a, a reference. In case I wanted to take the part number off there, I could just leave that little Q1 there and then make a, a key and put Q1 equals uh, that part number so I could save space. Um, one thing we're going to look at now is resistors. Um, here's three different ones here. This is a photoresistor. Um, as light comes into the resistor, it increases or um, reduces the resistance and in, in turn changing the flow of current through the here or the voltage. Um, this is a potentiometer, which um, has three legs to your standard pot. Um, you know, your voltage in, ground, and then your um, where you want to pull off at in the center. And you can hook it up a few different ways without hooking it up to ground, but we're not covering that right now. This is your standard resistor. Um, this is the European style square, but um, sometimes you'll see them like this without the little two arrows pointing to them. That's the same as uh, this. Um, either way. Um, one other thing we want to look at is uh, relays here. This right here is a, um, a simple two-pole relay. Got pole one and pole two, and um, this one's always connected, or this one's connected when there's no power um, supplied to this. And uh, this is a little inductor and arm. It creates a little magnet and pulls these switches back and forth. Um, when there's no power applied to this, these switches will be in this state, connecting this to whatever this and this to whatever this is. Um, whenever you apply power, the switch will switch over, and that will switch over. Both will switch over simultaneously, disconnecting these. Um, uh, let's see what else. All right, let's see. Voltage regulator we got right here. Um, you got your in voltage, let's say you got, I don't know, 20 volts coming in, and there's a 12 volt um, voltage regulator. Connect this to ground, and, and then you could add some filters to it too, but just basically, you know, 20 volts coming in, this going to ground, and then you'd get your 12 volts out. Um, this right here is a uh, iron core transformer. You got your primary and then your secondary. Um, this one seems to be a step down, not a step up, because this is uh, bigger than this. So that means you got more windings over here, less windings over here, so it's going to step the voltage down. Um, this right here is a, a crystal, um, a three leg crystal. You got your ground and then your um, whatever you're changing through here. And that's your little. Uh, crystal in the center that vibrates when voltage is applied to it. Um, speaking of crystals, let's hop over here and look at the piezo element microphone. Um, this is a piezo element microphone symbol. Um, it's what used in most microphones, the one I'm using on my head. Um, and then we got also the piezo element buzzer which is right here. Um, sort of looks like the microphone and the crystal. You got the little element in the center. Um, that's the symbol for a buzzer. Um, right above that is a symbol for a speaker. And um, right above that we got a symbol for a, a capacitor. Um, more than likely this is a uh, just a ceramic disc capacitor since it's not labeled plus or minus. Um, this right here is an electrolytic capacitor. You can tell that from the plus symbol and that being white. Um, to the right of that right here, this is a uh, fuse. You can tell that with a little, looks like a resistor almost, but it's got a line all the way through it instead of like the resistor where it doesn't have the line. Um, right above that here, this is a um, inductor, which may be confused with the resistor, but as you can tell, the inductor
doesn't actually it's filled in solid um, it's not empty like the fuse and the resistor um, below that is another symbol for an inductor um, it's actually got the little square filled in with a line above it I like this symbol a little better it's a little more clear that's more of a generic symbol um, to the right of that right here we got the LED with uh, looks like a diode with, uh, arrows pointing away from it um, we're gonna go down here and look at the diodes this right here um, is just a generic symbol for a diode there's a bunch of different types of diodes um, you just need to look at the schematic and see what's labeled um, this could be a rectifier diode or um, a Scotty diode or um, all kinds of different diodes, a reference diode. Um, this one right here though with this little dash coming off to the left that is a uh, Zenser diode and um, sometimes it actually has a little line up here too going over and it looks like a little Z and that stands for a Zenser diode too. Um, uh, one thing I didn't cover in the power was this right here. This is a DC power jack symbol. Um, it's just got your basic, you know, when you plug it in, this is the center prong. This is your outer prong, so that's your ground. And these are your positive. Um, this is a um, decade counter. Um, the reason I put this on here was just to show you that... Um, the pins, normally if you look at the IC, it have a little notch on one side, one of these sides. And below that notch, if you were holding that notch to the left, let me go ahead and just uh, turn that to the left. Yeah, like that. Um, and your notch was right here. Your first pin right below the notch would be your number one pin, and it counts one, two, three, four, whatever, to eight, and then a jump up here and count nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, all the way to sixteen. The reason I wanted to show this image though was because um, on a schematic, the pins aren't always in the same place as they are on the IC. Um, one's here, two's there, four's up there, five's there, but really it's one, two, three, four. Um, in the schematic, they just um, put them in different places so it's easier to connect everything up in the schematic. Um, let's jump down here to the little seven segment display. Um, same goes for it, the way everything's labeled here. The pins are jumbled up from what the pins actually are on the seven segment display. Um, now let's go into our switches. We got a little push button switch here. Um, nothing's connected when you don't push the button. When you push the button, you connect one and two there. With this little uh, push button switch, or actually, I'm sorry, this is a toggle switch. Um, it's a three different, just a single pull, or single pull, single throw. Actually, double pull, single throw. Um, and what it does is, what I mean by double pole is that there's two poles here. Um, this one is connected at, uh, and then when you switch it, it switches to this one, disconnecting that one. Um, there's a couple different symbols for a uh, toggle switch, but, um, that's one I run across the most. Um, this right here is a rotary switch. Uh, I'm not going to get into how it works, but uh, it's the little round switch. Uh, a lot of DIY electronic projects don't use them. They're actually pretty cool. Um, there's a lot you can do with them. Um, but that's your basic 12 pole uh, rotary switch. Um, what else have we not covered? I think that's about all. Well, no, actually. This right here is a pin header, just a four pin header, but um, it can have a, a bunch more little circles with little dots coming off, dashes coming off of them. Um, or it can have less. Uh, it can just be a two pin or a one pin. I mean, it can literally be whatever you want it to be. Um, this just represents a little header popping up off the board that you can plug stuff into or um, use as a jumper, or whatever. 
Um, that pretty much covers everything in this video. Uh, I think I covered just about everything I covered in the other video. Um, if there's anything else you'd like me to go over or uh, maybe cover in another video, I can uh, make another video covering more schematic symbols. This one's just to cover the basics of um, what you'd run into in a standard schematic, you know, basics. I hope this helps somebody out. I appreciate you guys watching. This is DIY Electronics, and I'm signing off.